spring guys no snow sun but a little bit windy hello guys and welcome to different russia channel today i would like to speak about immigration i will try uh, to share my view and also uh, will answer a few questions that i get under my videos I usually get two types of questions concerning immigration. Uh, some people are asking me about immigration uh, to Russia, so they want to immigrate from some countries to Russia. And now, <laughs> because of the recent uh, situation, uh, I get questions um, about the Russians that are going to immigrate somewhere. The question is approximately the following. How many Russians would like to immigrate from Russia? And uh, what is the situation with immigration at the moment? Um, first of all, I should say that I have never immigrated uh, from other countries to Russia. And I don't know all the details of immigration to Russia. Uh, but in general, guys, uh, I have to say that all the immigration, um, it doesn't matter where, whether you are going to immigrate to Russia or to some other country, uh, you should um, understand uh, several things. Um, first of all, I think you have to know why you are going to immigrate to this or that country. Uh, if you do not like, well, just, well, the life in your country is okay, but, well, it's boring, you think that um, the level of living is not very high in your country, uh, you do not get enough money for your, for your work, so some people are simply bored and they do not know what to do here, how to get fun, and they think that if they immigrate somewhere, uh, everything will be perfect. So the miracle will happen and uh, they will live prosperous life in some other country. Uh, so I think that uh, if you are thinking of immigration, uh, you have to be in the following situation. You you cannot live in your country so every day is um, unbelievably difficult for you so maybe from the political uh, point of view maybe from uh, from the point of money so there is no way for you to live in your country and you think that you can live everything in your country and move to another country. If you think that if you go just uh, to have a look how people live, uh, you are planning to live for several years in one country, uh, then if uh, everything is bad, you can return back to your, uh, to your motherland. <laughs> uh, and if people think like so, usually the immigration uh, has a very bad result. Uh, they return back home in a few years. The second, uh, the second question, guys, um, what do you know about the country where you are planning to emigrate? Uh, because many people who now are thinking of immigration, uh, they uh, they watched a few videos where people said, well. In our country everything is great and you think wow in my country everything is bad and I have to immigrate to that country uh, but every immigration story is different you do not know how much money those people have maybe they are rich and you are not very rich you do not know anything about their relatives. Maybe they have friends or relatives uh, who can help them uh, to start the new life in a new place. You do not know about uh, their job. 
about their qualification. Maybe they are highly qualified specialists uh, or maybe they are just, uh, well, students that have no professional skills. So you do not know anything. And uh, also uh, you have to understand that some people um, uh, so how is to say uh, it depends upon the character a character some people um, are very enthusiastic very active and some people well everything is bad I don't know what will be maybe this maybe that so they are constantly in some kind of depression so as uh, a character uh, and how you a fight with problems that is very very important especially for those who plan to immigrate and also guys you must understand that if you plan to immigrate to this or that country you must speak the language of the country for example if you are planning to come to Russia you must speak Russian if you would like to immigrate to the United States, uh, for example, you have to speak English. Uh, if you are planning to live in France, you must speak French. Of course, you can speak uh, some other languages, but you won't get a good job, a well-paid job. I'm in a small park at the moment and uh, now it's about five o'clock in the evening and people are coming so I do not want to disturb them and <laughs> I will try to go to the corner of the park <laughs> just not to embarrass people because here is not the tourist zone and people well they are rather shy in front of the cameras so once again about the language if uh, you cannot speak the language of the country uh, it is difficult for you to get a good job. Of course, you can clean the streets, for example, uh, you can clean shops or you can work at some construction. Uh, but if you cannot speak the language of the country, you can't get a good job. That is a big, big problem of those who come here. Even if you work in the construction, if you can speak the language of the country, you have better chances to get uh, a well-paid job. So you will get more money if you can speak the language. Uh, so if you come here, you have to understand that here almost no one speaks English or other foreign language. And if you would like to communicate with people, uh, you have to learn Russian. Of course, if you live in the center of Moscow and um, uh, you go to some places where there are a lot of tourists all those people will speak English but if you live in some small town if you live far from Moscow you should understand that people do not speak any foreign language at all because um, many Russians uh, have never been abroad and they do not see the reason why they have to speak uh, English for example or they have to speak some other language because in their everyday life that is not necessary for them uh, and besides um, uh, we could not go abroad in the times of the Soviet Union it was very very difficult only um, a small percent of Russians could go abroad in the times of the Soviet Union. And the majority of people, uh, they stayed inside the country, they traveled inside the country, and they never communicated with foreigners. So there was no purpose to learn a foreign language. Now the situation is changing, but um, 
maybe only in big cities, in Moscow, in St. Petersburg, in um, rather big Russian cities, the situation with uh, the English language, for example, is a little bit better. But in general, here, uh, everything is very bad. And now, guys, rather popular uh, street interviews where uh, a journalist or some YouTuber comes to the passers-by and uh, asks questions about immigration. And usually young people are saying, yeah, uh, we plan to immigrate. Uh, at the moment we do not know where, but we plan to immigrate. Uh, so I should say that the majority of um, people are against filming. They will say, no, I'm not going to give some kind of interview to you. And um, they will try to avoid any contact with uh, you when you have a camera in your hands. And those people uh, who still would like to speak uh, to the camera, uh, they usually have no plans. They just say, yeah, yeah, we want to immigrate. And when the, uh, the journalist asks them, where are you planning to immigrate? They say, well, I don't know, maybe to the United States, maybe to Europe, maybe to, I don't know, uh, to some uh, countries very far from Russia, I don't know, to Australia, for example. And when the journalists uh, ask why, why you want to immigrate to Canada, they say, well, I don't know, I just uh, like the Canada, the Canadian life. Why you are planning to immigrate to the United States? I don't know, everything is great in the States, much better than here. Why are you planning to go to Spain, for example? Well, I don't know. I went there for some holidays for two weeks. I liked uh, Spain and I think that immigration to Spain will be perfect. So I should say, guys, that all these people who are telling you about such immigration plans, they will never go anywhere. That is just some uh, I don't know, some waste talk or how to call it. So they just, um, they have no plan to immigrate. That is maybe their dream or now that is a rather popular trend <laughs> to speak about immigration. Uh, so the same, guys, is uh, if you plan to immigrate to Russia. You should understand that immigration and two weeks of holidays in some country, uh, that is uh, a very, very big difference. If you came to Russia for just maybe two weeks or three weeks of holidays, and uh, you plan to immigrate to Russia, you should understand that it is a huge, huge difference. Uh, tourism and immigration, that is not equal things. Uh, so if you live here, uh, you have to struggle <laughs> with some problems that tourists do not have. Besides, tourists uh, come with money. It doesn't matter where you go, to the United States, to Russia, to Canada, to Europe. You go with money. You do not go to earn money there. And uh, that is why uh, you do not know how uh, to look for a job. If you have a small cafe, for example, you are a boss of a small cafe and you plan to move to Russia and open uh, the business here, uh, you should know how business works in this particular country because your experience in your country uh, has nothing to do with the experience uh, in this country. Here we have different laws, here we have uh, different situation. Um, for example, in your country, your cafe is prosperous, but here no one eats such food. 
So there is a big difference with documents, uh, so with uh, controlling organizations, for example. Uh, here is the screen and I'm controlling <laughs> whether my camera is filming me or not. Uh, so guys, uh, first of all, if you have uh, the plan of immigration, it doesn't matter where you are planning to immigrate. Uh, you have to find uh, someone uh, who can tell you about his immigration. You have to find the contacts uh, of people who would like uh, to, help, to help you with um, for free or you have to pay them a little bit and of course you have to get a foreign passport international passport because here many people are planning to immigrate somewhere and they do not have an international passport they have only Russian passport but with Russian passport you can go to not a very big number of countries you have to get visa and sometimes it is very difficult to get visa uh, to this or that country for example when i went to the united states to get american visa was rather easy uh, because uh, i just um, uh, got some documents went to the embassy and uh, got visa for if i'm not mistaken for two years uh, they offered for one year and if to pay some extra money they offered a two-year visa and then when you have visa in your passport uh, you can um, buy tickets but if you get for example visa to I don't know to Spain I don't know how it is now but uh, some time ago they gave visa only for a small period and before getting that visa you had um, uh, to show the tickets airplane tickets um, confirmation from the hotel so it is a very very different process so to get an American visa was rather easy for me uh, to get uh, for example European visa it was uh, rather difficult because um, you have to choose the period when you would like for example from 10 up to uh, 21st of May for example so and if anything happens uh, for example you cannot get a vacation uh, or for example some health problems uh, you have and you cannot change the dates of your trip so as for american visa it was very easy but it was 10 years ago guys what is now i simply do not know so first of all if you plan uh, to immigrate somewhere get the passport international passport ask about visa how you can enter uh, the country uh, is it difficult for you or not? How much money you have to get in your pocket? Uh, what about bank cards, whether they work <laughs> now in the country or not? For example, now it's a big problem because uh, some time ago our bank cards worked abroad. Now they do not uh, work. And now people have to immigrate with some cash in the pocket, but that cash is difficult to get. Uh, because it is a big problem to get dollars from the bank account. Uh, they give only in rubles or, well, you have to wait for several weeks. Uh, so that is, guys, a very, very big problem now to get uh, paper dollars in your hands. Uh, so, in general, guys, the immigration is not very easy. And all the stories that I have ever heard about immigration, uh, it was a very difficult period for about five years. It doesn't matter where you immigrate, you have uh, to be ready that the first five years of your uh, new life will be very, very difficult. So, of course, this process can be easier if you have friends, if you have money, if you have... So, 
many other things. Uh, so, but in general, five years, that is the period when people have a lot of problems. And finally, guys, I will answer the question about our immigration, <laughs> whether we have plans, my family, uh, my husband, I. So, uh, what are our immigration plans? <laughs> we never had immigration plans, and at this moment, today, we have no plans to immigrate from Russia. I don't know, guys, what will be in the future. Now no one knows. But at this moment, today, we have no plans for immigration. And we had never planned to immigrate to other countries. We wanted to travel a lot. And that is the big difference from our family and many other Russians. Uh, because uh, we went to many countries in Europe, uh, we went to the United States, we went uh, to some countries in Africa. I have never been to Australia, uh, but, well, we had plans, but um, uh, we had problems with visa. Uh, so they offered visa, but at that time we could not get our uh, days off, our vacations. Uh, so. In general, uh, we wanted to travel a lot, and we still want uh, to travel a lot abroad and to travel a lot uh, around our country, but to immigrate somewhere, I think, at the moment, no. So, our plan was uh, to live during the summer period here. Uh, at our Dutch, for example, and for cold winter months, uh, we planned uh, to go somewhere. Uh, for example, to live one month in one place, one month in another place. So, uh, that just, guys, uh, was a rather popular uh, situation uh, with those who worked online. Uh, they could live during the warm period in Russia and for winter they went to Thailand, for example, to Turkey, uh, to some warm countries. Uh, what will be now, no one knows, but we hope that um, we uh, will have the opportunity to travel abroad and uh, our plan, so, to live um, during summer period here and to travel uh, in the warm climate <laughs> uh, during the winter uh, months. So guys, I hope this episode was useful for you and you got some general idea of immigration. If you have any questions, please ask them in comments and we will see with you in some other episodes. Пока! Also, guys, wanted to tell you a few words about my small channel. The link will be in the description under this episode and also in the first comment. Now I plan the following schedule. Uh, I will publish um, one video here on this channel, different Russian, and the next day on my small channel then again on different Russia channel, then again on my small channel. So let it be uh, a new video every two days on each channel. So hope you understand. Um, the small channel is... Um, well, I had many plans what to film there. At the moment that will be uh, some I don't know, some family stories, uh, some small questions, uh, so answer comments. Uh, uh, but on different Russia channel will be more general topics about Russia, about Russian life. So guys, subscribe to my small channel. The link is in the description, in the first comment and also under this episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you soon. Пока.